Hey guys, this is Claudia from The Bookkeeping Experts. I've been a bookkeeper for a long time and I have customers come up to me with all kinds of questions. Today we're going to talk about something that it, you know a lot of people come up to me over and over again and that is um, how to organize and clean up the chart of accounts. So we're going to go right into it. We're going to jump right into it. So just going to QuickBooks Online and to, um, to get to the chart of accounts, you want to go in the left hand side menu, click on accounting and then chart of accounts. Now keep in mind, we are on the accounting view. Uh, if you are on the business view, you want to click on the gear menu. And if you want to switch so that you can see the same thing that I'm looking at, you want to click on switch to accounting view here it says switch to business view because I am on accounting view. This is how it looks. You still have the chart of accounts here um, and you can do all the same thing. But if you want to see exactly what I'm looking at, uh, you can switch back and forth. You can switch as many times as you want to. All right. So how do I clean up accounts that are duplicated? Um, I'm going to show you that I actually eliminated a few accounts not too long ago. So uh, I'm going to click on this little, little gear menu. We're going to uh, include inactive. Okay. okay, see where it says make active? I'm going to make them active so I can delete them again. Okay. Those are the two accounts. There's two different situations we want to talk. First is, let's suppose there's transactions on this both of those credit cards they're the same credit card but there's some manual transactions recorded with this one and this one uh maybe not so there maybe there is some uh account created and one thing that i've seen happening a lot is that if you have quickbooks payroll a lot of times that you will see bank accounts that are created by payroll automatically and all your payroll is run by that account and then you can't match them when they come through in the in the banking all right so in that case what we do we we want to merge those accounts so that those transactions can go into the right account um, and you want to make sure that you know you put those transactions there and then you want to fix your payroll but that's that's another subject we can talk about on another video today we're just going to talk about how to eliminate those uh, those accounts duplicated accounts that have transactions in it so um so the way we do it you want to click on the on the arrow right next to view register and you don't want to make inactive if you have transactions in there and you if you want those transactions to go to the right account you want to edit it and you want to name this account exactly the the way that the the other account that has that is the account that you want to keep is named as so we're gonna delete this i and now everything looks exactly the same so when i click on save QuickBooks is going to tell me, you already have an account with that name. Would you like to merge the two? Yes, I do. If you don't see this, it's because there is a difference and you have to fix it before you merge it. It could be that maybe it's under a bank account instead of a credit card. Or if it is an expense, it could be, you know, a different kind of expense, uh, other business expense or whatever it is everything needs to be the same so if it is not it's not gonna it's not gonna this message is not gonna show up and you're not merging right so you want to make sure everything is the same so th so the account has to be under the same thing the tax forms the same thing and the account name the exact spelling no extra commas or anything everything needs to match so yes merit merge account okay and then save all right, so if we scroll down, that account is gone. Yay, <laughs> okay. Now, I have an account here that has no transaction whatsoever. That's this Visa one. If you click on Bill Register, there's nothing in there. And there's no balance in that. 
So you want to make sure that when you eliminate an account, it has a zero balance. Because if there is, there is no, oh yes, I'm sorry. We have the little uh, thing that to show an active account. I'm going to turn it off because it was still showing. But if you scroll down right now, the MasterCard is only one now. So anyhow, back to this visa here. It has a zero balance. There is no transaction whatsoever. So we're ready to make an active. So it's okay. But if there is a balance, you need to eliminate that balance before you close the account. So you want to click on the arrow next to this, and it's all zero out. Make an active. Okay. Now, if you have an account that you want to eliminate, uh, but it has a balance in it, you want to make sure that you eliminate that balance before you close the account. So let's suppose that this other current liability, uh, that, you know, this loan payable here for $4,000, it's paid off. And let's suppose that I pay with my personal funds. I didn't use the business funds. Because if I use the business funds, I would just categorize under the banking transaction. Um, I would ca categorize under the loans payable and it would eliminate that balance. But if I paid with my personal funds, then I will need to do a journal entry. So you can duplicate your page. If you bring all your, your mouse all the way to the top on the tab, you want to right click and duplicate. And then you have two pages to work with. Here is my journal. This is a prior one. So I'm going to click on the plus journal entry. That's how I get to the journal entry. I had that on my prior video, by the way. So plus new journal entry have the date as May 30th. So that's the date that I pay off the balance. I want to type notes payable and it's a liability account so in order for me to lower the amount that I owe I'm going to debit it and I'm gonna debit by the total amount of four thousand dollars and because I um, paid with my own money I'm gonna look for owners investment here do I have owners investment no we only have a couple of equity accounts so we can create one and scroll all the way to the top and I can create a new chart of account right from here I'm gonna click on add new okay want to make sure that whenever you create an account that um, you you create you select the right type of account it's gonna auto populate as bank and I gotta tell you I've seen a lot of customer a lot of my customers just selecting bank for everything including expense so you really mess up your account don't want to do that so you want to click click on the arrow and select the right kind of account uh, we're choosing an equity account for that because we don't want to impact your income statement by any way shape or form and that is right next to to that you're gonna click on the second arrow and we're gonna select that this is owner's investment or owner's equity right or personal um, okay I can do owner's equity or you can, you can even you can even select owner's equity and just put on uh, and just type the name of the account as owner's investment all right so the detail type is owner's equity the name of the account is owner's investment. So that looks good. We're going to save and close. Keep in mind with the journal entry, you're required to enter um, a positive amount and a negative amount to zero. So those two amounts here, you're going to do always a debit and a credit, right? And they have to, to zero each other out. So there's a two side of a journal entry, two accounts. So first, I'm going to tell um you know what account i am um, changing so in this case it's a liability account and where is this money where's the where's the money that coming from that i'm paying this debt so in this case it's owner's investment it could have been a bank account 
uh, but in this case it's, it's on its investment right okay so we're gonna save and close click on the arrow here save and close all right, so we're gonna go to the other tab. And if we refresh the page, I refresh by clicking on another account, right, right on the left-hand side. So we're gonna go to Notes Payable. And, oh, so I actually put on the wrong account. It's actually Loan Payable. So how do I fix that? <laughs> Good thing I did. Okay, if I click on, see that it's a negative amount here. I know that this journal entry is right under notes payable. I'm going to click on view register. See, it's right here. So if I click on this number and then I click on edit, I'm going to open up this transaction. I can change it right from there. So it's not uh, notes payable, it's loan payable. Okay, there it is. Okay, now I'm going to save and close. Just like that, I change it here. So now this account is back to zero and um and then i'm ready to close the loan loan payable i'm gonna go back there in just a minute so but the notes payable are paid off okay so i can click um so the the notes payable was already paid off so i'm gonna click on the view register arrow right next the arrow right next to view, view register make it active say yes same thing with the loan payable the zero balance so I, at this time i'm ready to eliminate this account so i'm eliminating any account that is paid off it's, it's no longer active but it's just there so you wanted to you want to get this out of your chart of accounts it's important to maintain a, a clean chart of account uh, because when you take it to your cpa um, your chart of account needs to be easy to understand not only for your cpa but for yourself you want to make uh, you want to make sure that you can go into your income statement and understand you know where is your income what's your total income what's your total exp expense and what's your bottom line if there's like a, a hundred accounts and two pages of uh profit and loss which is the income statement uh, then it, it makes things quite confusing and hard to understand. So this is how we clean up and organize your chart of accounts. If you need more help, feel free to contact us. We can do a one-on-one -on -one, uh, Zoom meeting and, and teach you exactly how, how, to, uh, how to address your particular situation. I hope you like this video. <laughs> we like to bring those videos to you to make your life easier and help you understand your finances so you can grow your business in order for us to do that we need you to click that thumbs up that you like the video and subscribe to our channel by subscribing to our channel you will receive the most updated videos on quickbooks online on a frequent basis we're so glad that you stayed with us for this entire time and we look forward to see you again next time. And until next time, keep on smiling.